Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Modern Go-To-Market. My name is Mike Wilbur, and today I'm really excited to talk about Gong. I'm a repeat buyer of Gong. First time I deployed it was back in 2019 at my last employer. And then when I joined my current employer as chief revenue officer, it was the first piece of technology I implemented. I did it before Salesforce, our core CRM, before Outreach, which is our sales engagement software. And I want to share three things that I really like about Gong. Three things that I use as a revenue leader, but also someone who oversees marketing as well as customer success. And I'll try to keep this one pretty quick. The first thing I love about Gong is coaching. As soon as you get to more than a handful of direct reports, being able to coach, being able to be on every single sales call, it just it stops being realistic. With Gong, I love the fact that I can drill in to my seller's calls. I can listen to excerpts based on notifications, which I'll talk about here in a little bit, and I can provide feedback. Sometimes it's constructive, sometimes it is only positive, and sometimes it's an opportunity to codify what good looks like across the org. What I mean by that is sharing the way that someone ran discovery, sharing the way that someone overcame an objection, and then using that to share across the organization, to use it as part of sales enablement and onboarding. And I love that Gong gives me the ability to coach at scale. The second thing I really like is for marketing, it creates an incredible feedback loop. Being able to incorporate the voice of your customer into your marketing is a total superpower. Most of the times marketing teams are talking about their product, their features, their benefits. Being able to use your customer's voice in your marketing is incredible. One of the things we really like to do is something I call sanitized customer stories. So if you have a customer or even a prospect that highlights that they liked something about the product or even the sales experience or maybe even something tactical like implementation, rather than going down the long process of getting the customer to approve it, creating a case study, why not just share a sanitized customer story? Hey, yesterday on a call, one of our customers said this, throw that into a social post, use that in an email, and you can create those multiple times a day. So I love the fact that it helps us understand what's working, what's not, and that's a total flywheel for our marketing team. The third thing that I love is keeping our customers close to us. As your company grows in revenue, retention and managing client churn becomes more and more important. Churn is one of the biggest killers of revenue growth. And one of the things I like about Gong is that I can get notified and I can drill in based on sentiment. So if I want to sort by customer calls, that's an easy filter, and then look by sentiment, which their AI provides, I can look to see if there are calls that, that had frustration or negativity or anger. Uh, specifically tied to price or timeline, any of those kinds of things. This allows me to really take action. Do I need to reach out as an executive to like level with a customer? Do I need to make sure that we put someone on the watch list that's maybe looking like they're trending from a green status down to a yellow status? Rather than only defaulting on customer experience or your account management team, being able to use Gong to really fact check the health of your customers can be a total superpower. I love Gong for a lot of other reasons. If you have any questions, I'd love to share kind of how I use it and what I'm thinking about when it comes to Gong as a huge part of our tech stack. I hope this was helpful and we'll see you next time.